storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Family, now you doing this? Next, we got to talk about Sage Marie Steele. She works on uh, ESPN. Now, real quick, all right? Sage Steele is trending because she was on a podcast. And what is she? Oh, well, Sage, you is a pretty lady. We're going we gonna to get into it. We're going to get into it. So, let's see who else was texting me real quick. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, my whole thing with Sage was that she was doing a podcast interview and she talked about census taking and what race to check. Now, she is from Panama, uh, and you guys got to know that, yes, she's half black and half white, which to me, when I look at her faces, it, it's very obvious, all right? But at the end of the day, when she goes out in the public, they see her as black. She is one of those mixed people. They got to tell you that they mixed. And I honestly feel, Sage, that a lot of that animosity from having to prove to people that you are mixed is, is something that we don't talk about enough when it comes to biracial children. A lot of times people have these biracial kids and they feel like they're going to come out a certain way. You feel like they're going to come out like a Vin Diesel or Mariah Carey. But sometimes they come out like Lenny Kravitz and that's okay too, all right? So, so Sage, you talked about how when you was in school and you had to check a census. Oh, not, not in the school, but when you had to check a census and you was told. Or I'm talking my country voice. You was told to check black. And you didn't want to check black. But the world see you as black. But I understand. Because you like, I got a whole white side that nobody really sees, but I can kind of see, but nobody really sees off rip. And then you was told that Obama, that, 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 that Barack Hussein Obama, a.k.a. Barry Santos, or Sor Sorrento, Sorrento, Cheerio, you said that he, uh, uh, he checks black. And you say you didn't understand why he checked black when his daddy went in his life. Did his daddy die early in his childhood, Sage? Or did you not take the time to learn that history? Now, I'm not one here to take up for Obama or anything like that. You can have your opinions at the end of the day when I look at Obama's face. I do see an old white man. He sure got a white man head. He sure got a white man lips and, and, and white man ears if you ask me about Obama. Y'all think I'm lying. I'm finna pull up the picture right now. I'm finna pull up the picture right now. All right. Barack Obama. Barry Santos. Barack Obama. Let's talk about it. All right. Since you brought up Barack Obama. Barack Obama didn't do nothing to you and you know how he came in this shit. He's sitting around there like me, like, damn, how I get in this shit? Sage, now you done lost your job. You have been pulled off air talking shit when you shouldn't have been talking shit. You should have sat there and ate your dinner. Now, that's Obama right there. When I look at him, I see I see a white head. I see white ears. All right, I, I see a white chin. I see white lips. All right, and a red, as a matter of fact, Barack Obama looked like a, a more of a Obama than a Barack. That's all I'm saying, okay? So at the end of the day, you know, he can claim his daddy. He can claim his African daddy. His daddy was in Kenya, and he grew up in the United States, Sage. You should know that if you know your history, Sage. You should know what you speak on before you speak on it, Sage, having such a large platform like you do. But I know that you angry, and I know you mad as fuck. Which you, this ain't about no sense. This ain't about check, not checking black and not checking white, because you sure can't check white, because they ain't going to let you check white. That is the truth. You mad because you always have to prove that you mix when they just look at you like, a regular black girl, Sage. You mad because you got a white girl name and a black girl face? It's Sage. Oh, we got to make that a song. I got a white girl name and a black girl face. It's Sage. Sage! You got a white girl name and a black girl face. And that's what you was mad about when I, when I was looking at that interview. I felt, I felt the animosity coming out of your mouth, coming out of your teeth. Sage! Are you mad when you look at other black women and they hair longer than yours? Are you mad that you got to that you got to wear a bonnet on your head at night too? Did you got hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of curling styling products in your in your closet like the rest of us? Are you are, is you mad about that? Are you mad when you get in the shower with your boo? You <laughs> running from the water? Are you mad when you go to take a shower you can't use the same shampoo as your man that you don't understand? Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad when your man asks you, "Ain't you gonna wash your hair, babe?" No, I can't, babe. Not for a few days. Are you mad? That it ain't like the other mixed girl sage. Because you got a white girl name and a black girl face. It's sage. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. We want to know, okay? I truly feel like you feel some kind of way about that, all right? I feel like you feel some kind of way because maybe you thought you... <laughs> anyway, let me not go there. Let me not go there. Let me write you your script, Sage, all right? The first part of your script is that you are going to write a public apology for your comments, whether you mean that apology or not. We want you to keep 
your job, Sage, all right? You can't be out here disrespecting next presidents because it just ain't going to get you that damn far. And you were speaking out against uh, uh, the, ooh, I can't even say that over here, but you you just, you over there talking crazy, Miss Touch My Hair, playing in my hair. Are you upset, Sage, that that hair uh, never really grew past the nape of your neck? Are you upset that you had to get permission to wear your hair naturally, all right? Or are you upset that even when you around your white husband and you tell him again and again, babe, my mix, made my mix, he still says I have a black fiance. Are you mad at that? Are you mad that the children that you would create with your husband would not look nothing like you and you would be seen almost as the housekeeper, uh, the, 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 the nanny that the white man is screwing and busting down? Is you mad? You got a white girl name and a black girl face? It's Sage. It's okay, Sage. It's okay. I'm also going to send you to some counseling uh, so you can um, learn how to properly identify yourself and how to love yourself and let go the fact that people will ever see you for other than anything else as a black woman is standing. You biracial claim it, but no, when you walk outside, then people don't necessarily see it. And that's why you mad. Your comments about Obama made no sense, all right? And once you get back in your anchor desk, I want you to go through some media training once again because you're going to learn when to open that mouth and when not, all right? You keep that mouth open to ghetto gag and eat vomit out of dog pills, all right? You ain't going to get out of doing that. Just like you. I didn't see them ghetto gag videos that make the mixed girls eat the shit in the vomit just like anything else and go live your life in a wedded motherfucking bliss. But you got a white girl name and a black girl face. Is Sage. Thank you, Sage. Have a good day. Have a good day. Then put your foot all the way up in your mouth. Uh, it's storm show. Hey, it's storm show.